because it's a lot. And and then I want to talk about how um, Mr. Biden <sighs> preached so much shit. Excuse me, my language. He preached so much stuff about paying our tuition not me, I'm just saying in my life and I still gotta pay my tuition. <laughs> not me risking my life on the day. And this is stuff that adds on to, to my burnout. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, make sure you, if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Abia Me. If this is not your first time and you've been here for the videos that I've made before, just go ahead and make sure that you like and you comment and you subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe so you can see more of me. And let's get into today's little conversation. So I wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about just some of the realities, I guess, of being a nurse in this day and time. And basically, this is kind of like having a little rant. I got some water in my cup, like like I did before. And yeah, let's get into it. So, like, I was, I went out, you know, with a couple of my um, co-workers. And we got to talking about, you know, nursing. And I'm just thinking, like, the sad thing is, like, the other day I told them, it's not that don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't love nursing, but I feel like a lot of people can relate to this content that I'm about to say right now. Is like, I feel like, dang, did I go into nursing doing the wrong? I mean, did I go into college and got the wrong degree with all this like COVID, this COVID mess going on? It's like so exhausting. And like, I thought to myself, like, I really feel sorry for the people that went to college and like they won't be able to experience nursing before we did had COVID going on because I did I had at least a year okay I graduated in 2018 COVID hit 2020 so I had like a year and some change of experience without COVID I won't say a full year because i had a, I started my career in August, so it didn't get to August. You know, COVID hit before August had hit, way before COVID hit, like in March. So I had you know some some experience on being on my own. Plus, you know, yeah, yeah, I had experience being a nurse with before COVID, and I thank God for that. Excuse me. Cause I can't imagine like coming into this straight up. Like, I, for the average person, for people who are not in the medical field, I just want you to know that our job is just exhausting. It's, it's hard already. Cause we're short. We've been short staffed already. We were short staffed when I started nursing and it was short staffed before I started nursing. But now it's like to the extreme, like people are not staying on these jobs because they know they can get way more money when they travel. So it's like it's even more short staff, like even more. And then not when you're short staff and then you got a bunch of COVID patients, like it's it's hard. And I know I'm speaking for even though I'm talking like to about this now, I haven't been on the. I haven't been on the floor when this new wave of a, a Morricon girl, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but Omarion and <laughs> I haven't been, I haven't been um, in the hospital since um, um, the big O and I ain't talking that O, I'm <laughs> talking COVID O. Uh, I haven't been on the floor since the big O hit because I had gave him, given birth in um, November. 
But still, like, I have to go back to work. And I'm just like, can I even get? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, am I even in the mindset to get back into stress? Just pure stress. And I would like to go on the, some days, I would like to go on the record to say that some days are not as bad. But when you're like short, it's like you always got a bad shift. And like it gets very overwhelming. And it's just like, am I looking forward to getting back back into the groove of things? Like, I, to be honest, I can't say I am. And I honestly see why a lot of people are leaving the healthcare field in general. I'm not saying that this is not my passion. Cause I'm saying this one of my passions, but I'm, but your, your passion can sometimes, you can be exhausted from doing your passion as well. Let's just do say that. And it's like, even before I left and delivered my son, I was very burnt out. I can, I was getting very burnt out just from being pregnant and you, it's just exhausting and when I was pregnant, I when I was pregnant, I quickly understood that these patients don't care that you're pregnant. They're going to run you. Some of them, not all of them, of course, are going to run you like a dog. And it'd be the ones that be like, oh, you're pregnant. Oh, how many months are you? Oh, is it a boy? Is it a girl? Those be the people that will run you rapid, knowing you're pregnant. They, I had a patient ask me if I could turn them or help them get situated. I said, no, ma'am, I cannot. You're going to have to wait till I can get somebody to come in here and help me. Like, come on. But doing all that ripping and running, all that just exhausted me. Um, and it caused me to be burned out. I'm not even going to lie. And, like, I felt what have, have, have since I've been out of work, I felt better. I mean, and then even when I eat, of course, I've told y'all the story already. If you have not caught it, make sure you catch up on my story of me um, doing my, showing y'all the video of the, excuse me, the video of me with the um, making, decorating the cookie, the Christmas cookie. Because I talked to y'all about the issues that I had after my um second pregnancy after I delivered my son um with my blood pressure and everything like that and you know once I went to the hospital and I, I kind of got I kind of understood how it feels to be a patient and I kind of got some empathy for them because I felt helpless in the hospital myself so but now that I'm it's coming back to me it's up now that the time is coming up for me to get back to work. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous and I'm a little back overwhelmed and I feel a little bit, <laughs> a little bit burnt out all over again. Like, and I just need strength. I need, and I know if I'm feeling this, everybody else in the healthcare is feeling this too. And for those who not healthcare workers, just pray for your healthcare work. The, healthcare workers that we just keep steadfast and like we just don't be burnt out like that like give us some type of energy and just to do our job because it's a lot and and then I want to talk about how um Mr. Biden <sighs> preached so much shit Excuse me, my language. But he preached so much stuff about paying our tuition off and all that stuff. Not me out here saving y'all life and I still got to pay tuition. <laughs> like, not me risking my life on the day. And this is stuff that adds on to, to my burnout because it's like... <sighs> How y'all going to talk about y'all appreciate us? We on the front lines and y'all getting rid of people for not getting vaccinated. One. I Yes, I'm vaccinated. So, 
you I'm I'm not saying that what I'm not saying that they shouldn't get vaccinated, but I'm just saying that yes, I still believe that everybody has the right to choose. And then not y'all not paying our student loans up, not y'all not forgiving our student loans up, but y'all <laughs> but we just have to but we just have to be out here risking our lives to take care of everybody. We gotta be out here getting traumatized by all the things that we've seen and dealt with from working in the hospital like it's just you just feel like unappreciated unfortunately that that's just how you people feel in the healthcare field is unappreciated and overwhelmed and just straight tired but, you know, I don't mean nothing, any harm by this conversation. I'm just keeping it real. And I think that a lot of nurses um, should just, you know, say, you know, give their opinion. Don't cross HIPAA, you know, lines by speaking on everything that you've been through, you know, on the, you know, medical side or nothing like that. And I wouldn't even put no information of what hospital you work at because, that's nobody's business, but you have the right to use your freedom of speech. And I'm saying this for anybody, everybody who will say that what I'm saying, I shouldn't be saying no. It's my freedom of speech. And I'm just, you know, saying how I feel. I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything bad, I guess you could say that. But yeah, I'm just, this is just how I feel and yeah, I'm just hoping that I can get to it, get to the motivation. So comment for all the people in healthcare field, the nurses, doctors, um, PCT, CNAs, all that stuff, social workers, all that, anybody that's in the hospitals and or in eating the nursing homes or all that stuff. Put comments down below to tell me if you're feeling the same thing. Because it's just overwhelming. And especially for the people that just gave birth to. Let me know if you're feeling that same type of thoughts in your head about going back to work. Make sure y'all, again, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I know I'm a little late with my video because usually I drop them on Monday, but I, I told y'all I was feeling burnt out, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I didn't know what to record, but it, it just came to me today. So yeah, sorry about the late video, but it'll be up. All right. Take care. And I will see y'all next week.